And it seems to me that you've kind of decided that I love to be on sets. I love to make movies. And what are the kind of principles that you kind of put in place in your life so you can be there? and be working, you know, every, you know, one to two years on a film. I think the, the recurring word of today, I think, is community. You know, whether we're talking about the, um, the collaborators you have in film school that you carry on with and work with in some capacity and sometimes in surprising capacities, um, or where you come from and where you have access to and where you're, um, where you're living at the time and who your family is, you know, all these things have to do with community. And so for me, uh, I... I need a social outlet. I need people I can call and, and not talk about movies. I need people I can call and talk about movies. I need, um, uh, I need, I need, I need to take a lot of walks in nature. Um, for me personally, I go to bed early every night. I go to bed about 10 o'clock. I get up about four 30. I have a couple hours where it's just me and, and my dream life on a page now. So I just take, I like to wake up while everybody's still dreaming and steal all their ideas. They take all that, all that subconscious material in my house and, uh, and, and, um, and, and put it on paper. You know, that, that transition between dream life and creative life is very valuable to me because, you know, it's, it's 2.30 in the afternoon here now and, and I got nothing to say to anybody in terms of writing. Like my writing, I finished that at 10 a.m., um, exercise and just keeping you know keeping that um you know once you start once you start losing sight of the fact that you've got a vessel to be able to create in right once you start just whatever you know and, and i and i do it too where you stay up drinking too much coffee and eating too much whatever the shittiest easiest food it, it slows you down so like right now i'm literally on on a very specific exercise regimen diet I do everything I can to, you know, I'm also 45 years old, just trying to act like I'm 25 still. So, um, but, but I want, I want to live that creative life for another 25 years. Right. So if, if I can do that and then, you know, retire with a, with a, with a laugh and a beer in my hand, I'll be all right.